Although the shortest day of the year is definitely behind us, we are still in the middle of winter when the days are short and the nights are long. Dr. Allison Coffin from Align with Wellness has some tips for staying active and moving even during the cold, dark months. Okay, first things first is find a friend. So exercising with your friends or joining a group is the nicest because it's accountability. Sometimes yeah. it costs money and that's good. So mm -hmm. then you actually show up and do the thing. Yeah. The other thing is you want to do something that you actually like. So if you don't like to run outside, don't pick something else. Go swimming, join a fitness thing, uh, ride your bike, do something that you actually like that feels good in your body. Do some yoga. One of those things that like makes your body feel good yeah. is not something that you feel like you have to do. Because well, then you're more apt to do it if exactly. you like doing it. Exactly. Okay. Like um, the next thing is not really like an exercise, but in the middle of the day, so we have a lot less light, right? Yeah. So in the middle of the day, if you can get outside and stick your face up towards the sun, just stand there like no sunscreen, just get some sun on your face for five minutes. Yeah. It's going to increase your happiness because we get a lot of seasonal affective disorder yes. around this time of year. Yeah. Um, and that will change your perspective and then change the brain chemicals in your brain, which mm. um, is nicer. Yeah. And it'll make you feel nicer too. No, exactly. Yes. And then the other thing that is important to do to keep moving when there's no light is stay hydrated. So a lot of us forget yes. to drink water. Yes. Throughout the day. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when you wake up, like put a water bottle right next to your bed stand, chug that thing, then get up and brush your teeth. There's step one. Cause a lot of people will come to me in my office and they are drinking like 20 ounces of water a day and their muscles are like beef jerky and their whole body hurts. Oh my gosh. And so that happens actually a lot more in the winter than it does in the summer. People are hot in the summer. They drink water. It gets yeah. colder. People stop. Right. And they're not as thirsty. Or they're drinking, maybe I'm thinking like caffeinated, like warm caffeinated drinks oh, yeah, that are like going to dehydrate you. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's nice and soothing, but drink water on top of that or start with the water and then drink your coffee or your tea or whatever that's hot. Um, but it's super important to stay hydrated during this time of year. It'll keep your muscles feeling better and it'll make you more apt to move. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we've got find a friend or someone to hold you accountable. Yes. Get your face to the sun yes. <laughs> when you can. Find something you like to do because you're going to be more apt to do it. Yeah. And stay hydrated. Those are easy. We can all do that. It's easy. It's just like a nice little reminder. Like these are things you're supposed to do and it'll feel good when you do it. Super easy, Rob, right? Yes. We can all do that. Don't want muscles like beef jerky. <laughs> we do not. We have Allison's full <laughs> list of tips on our website and mobile app for you. And stick around. We're